So this is uh, Calle de la Tortigas. And where's the R? Is this one? Yeah. We're at uh, La Tortuga Street. Okay. So tell me about uh, La Tortuga. This street needs a lot of people for our city. It's none of the art. Any of the art in the Xevali or the art that we create that we paint is inspired in the black the black culture. Yeah. Okay. Africa in our our history. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, in our history. You can see that painting is a girl. Okay. 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 Represent. Represent power. Okay. Represent the beginning of the family. Okay. Past. The family was uh, managed by the woman. Okay. So, so what Annabelle, my friend, here is saying that the art you see is representing woman. How powerful woman was because they had to keep the family represented it and keep the family together because a lot of the men was being sold back in the days in slavery and the meaning of family was hard because some of the kids was being sold also. So right here we are what we call La Tortuga Street which is the past and we will take you to San Juan, the present and that's why we created what we call the San Juan lineup. The lineup of four artists. These artists are very, 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 very good with their work. So tell me more about these walls, Annabelle. Different, different artists uh, have painted this wall. Different style, different sense, different expression, different language, uh, history, History, nature, animals, faces, what else? You can see here in the street many, many paintings different. As for example, okay. you can see that. Uh -huh. Like the Xemani resistance. Okay, the resistance. Yeah, the okay. resistance of the nature. Okay. Why? Because in the past, here live a lot of people that now that uh, don't live. Okay. Yeah. But as the Xemani is as a resistance of the people that still live here. Okay. Yeah. People that the families that are still living here in Xemani because the past was about uh, 15,000 families. Uh -huh. And now it's about a thousand families living in the seminary. Okay. Because they they go. They sell they they sell their house or simply uh, yeah live. Let me ask you this question, my friend. What's your favorite time of the day to create art? Okay. My favorite time of the day to create art is at midnight. At midnight? Yeah. And why is that? It's very good because I Focus a lot, and there's not noise. I can, I can like inspire. I, I, I flow, flow better. Flow, flow better. Yes. Okay. Tell me everything that you do. You, you a painter? You do, you, you paint. What else? Yeah, I paint. I'm DJ. I'm producer. Experimental music. I work in a gallery. I now like working as a bartender. I'm learning. That new art that, that well, is what is your passion? My passion is being DJ and painter. Painter. So, so um, me and Annabelle, my name is Romeo. So we've got gotten together and he shared with me 
the culture and the pain of the people of, I said, Hetsanami. 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 And that's why we created this lineup of amazing four artists. So he's a talent finder, which after these four artists here, we might go to another part of Colombia and go find hidden talent that needs to express themselves. They have so much talent, but the world is not able to see them. And it's my job, our job, to make sure the world is able to see them through different mediums, not through art galleries because it's hard because the world do not come here. But we're going to bring the world here through social media, different aspects. So now, as we walk back, as we walk back, we're going to show you the new world the new street, the new art, and the street is called again? San Juan. San Juan. San Juan is now, and San Juan is the future. And that's why we have what we call the San Juan lineup. Four artists that's going to produce 66 pieces, and each artist will name their pieces one two through 66 and they will sign off the pieces and i will validate along with annabelle that this is the original piece first piece second piece third piece fourth piece till we get to the 66 piece each artist will have 66 piece they will not be sold until 66 piece is created and each piece will represents something. That's why it's the number 66 is the angel number that I gave it and told you. Again, I will repeat what it will mean. A basis of it. A basis of what it will mean is angel number, compassion, harmony, and unconditional love. And remember what he was saying, a lot of the artists painted woman because woman held the family down. Well, they're going to focus on family issues, relationships, and domestic problems. So now, you're going to see San Juan 66, San Juan line up, and speak with the artist. My friend here, Annabelle, I'm Romeo. What do you have to say before we see the artist? It's, it's interesting, I'm so excited to, to show you. He's excited, I'm excited. This is the beginning and come with us through our journey. Yeah. 